Hey guys, it's Shane from English Understood here. A lot of the time when I'm listening to non-native speakers speak English, I can tell that they're non-native speakers because they don't use connected speech. Connected speech is when words and phrases are pronounced differently than how they should be pronounced. So for example, what are you doing? What are you doing? This is correct. The pronunciation is correct, but when a native speaker says this, he'll say it really fast and it will sound like this. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you, what are you, what are you doing? So today I want to give you a tip to help you improve your connected speech so you can start sounding more like a native speaker. And is a very common word in English, right? We use it every day, a hundred times, a thousand times. Let's say we have and here, and then we have another word after and, and this word starts with a vowel. You can join these two words together. Let me show you what I mean. Let's pretend we have two words together, and apples, and apples. When we say this really quickly, we don't say the D, we just say an. And when we join an and apples together, it sounds like this, an apples, an apples. So for example, if I say, I went to the shop today and I bought some pears and apples, and apples. Let's look at some more examples with different vowels. An elephants, an elephants. So you could say, I went to the zoo and I saw some lions and elephants. An ice, an ice. You could say, I went to the shops and I bought some drinks. An ice, an ice. And oranges, and oranges. You could say, I went to the shop and I bought some limes and oranges. Limes and oranges. And umbrellas, and umbrellas. When I went out today, I took my water and umbrellas, and umbrellas. So you can see here, we don't say and, the, and then the word, we just say an. We don't say that D sound. So now you try, and apples, and elephants, and ice, and oranges, and umbrellas. And that is the end of the lesson today. So make sure the next time you say and, and there's a word after and, which starts with a vowel, don't say the D. You will sound more like a native speaker.